hey guys welcome back to the channel and this is a video where we will see how we can export this model from maya to zbrush and we're going to talk about some common mistakes people make when they first try zbrush so we're not discontinuing our maya beginner series uh we'll continue that series after this video so let's start and i have this mesh here which is comprised with some different cubes i've i've just used some cubes and uh, combine them so i'm just going to go to file and export selection and i'm just going to export it as fpx so we have exported our mesh and now i'm going to go to zbrush and let's import our mesh there so now we are in zbrush and when you open zbrush you'll see some advertisement like this so let's close this and you'll see a light box or this tool panel just hide it and now we can import our mesh so we have to go to this tool panel and click on this import and just locate your mesh and open and if any of these uh, options are selected you can just deselect them by clicking like this and deselect anything if selected and then click ok now you see this mesh in your tool panel or this palette and when you see this mesh here just draw like this so when you draw your mesh you can't just start sculpting right away if you try to sculpt then it's going to create this mesh again in the viewport so what you have to do is you have to just draw your mesh once and then go to edit or press t like this and now you can start sculpting so many people do this thing when they import a mesh they try to click on this make poly mesh 3d and when you click it it doesn't do anything because you don't have to create a poly mesh 3d when you import a mesh from maya max or any other 3d software when you use the default primitive within ZBrush, then you have to use make polymesh 3D and you don't have to use polymesh 3D for external meshes. Now I'm going to go here and uh, turn on this polyframe so that you can see the wireframe or the topology of this mesh clearly. And now we have 56 polygons as you can see this here in the active points. And to increase the number of polygons so that we can sculpt it, we have to go to geometry and uh, we have to subdivide it. So if I subdivide it like this, that's going to change the shape. And it happened because we have this smooth on and we don't have any supporting edges in our mesh. So when you divide your mesh and your smooth is on, it's going to change its shape. So what we have to do is we have to press ctrl z and turn this smooth off if your mesh has hard corners and you want to maintain those corners. So turn this smooth off and now you can subdivide like this. And right now you can't see anything and uh, that's because you have to delete the lower subdivisions and uh, here you can see in the active points and total points that you have increased the number of polygons in your mesh so we have 2700 polygons in our mesh so if i click on this delete lower subdivisions now you can see the mesh flow or the polygon topology in your viewport and now you can start sculpting like this since we don't have enough topology in our mesh it's not going to sculpt very well so you can increase the number of subdivision if you press ctrl d again and again and if it doesn't change the polyframe what you can do you can delete the lower subdivision and it's going to fix that issue now since we have uh, these uh, different cubes put together and create this mesh you can see the overlapping here and in the polyframe you can see the wireframes are overlapping each other and to fix this you have to use the dynamesh so go to dynamesh and you have to increase the resolution let's take something like 400 don't take too much resolution it might crash your zbrush so i'm going to click on this dynamesh but before doing dynamesh make sure you have deleted the lower subdivisions so let's click here 
and uh, now you can see that it fixed that issue and if i zoom in and see here then we don't have that issue anymore and if i turn this polyframe off i can just smooth this area like this and we can get rid of those hard corners if i smooth like this And now you can take your brushes and start sculpting. Like this. And to fix the dynamic, what you can do is you can press control or uh, whatever key you have set to enable the mask and select a mask in the viewport not on the model and just release and it's going to fix the dynamic issue let's try with this uh, when your polyframe is on so if i own this and if i just do this and then you can see the topology here it's a little messed up so to fix this what you can do is just press ctrl and make a selection when your dynamic is turned on and just release and it's going to fix that issue so you can do this and to fix this just press control make a selection of the mask and it's going to fix that issue like this and then you can sculpt your meshes and then export as your high poly so i hope you like this video and now you can start uh, importing your meshes from maya or any other 3d software to zbrush for sculpting and I'll see you in the next video of our Maya beginner series. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.